we're finally back on the channel with the G body. So since the last time you guys seen this uh, car on the channel, you saw the, the ground up restoration that we've been doing pretty much frame off completely reinforced the frame did full tubular suspension by UMI um, upgraded sway bars quick performance uh, nine inch rear 430 gears four link setup uh, Viking coilovers all the way around now at the front of it powertrain wise you have a six liter LQ9 based engine uh, this one has LS2 internals radical cam uh, upgraded heads as a fast 92 intake all the nice little neat stuff um, behind that is a 4000 stall for a lady uh, built uh with the tci outlaw shifter i mean this is a very very nice setup don't let the paint and panels fool you because this thing is going to go off the paint it's going to get its full interior redone and it's going to look pretty badass but uh for now what we're going to be doing is some street tuning seeing how it pulls getting everything ironed out so we can send it off to paint and send it off to the interior guy and they can do all their work that they need so let's jump right into it To the interior this thing is going to actually get completely redone uh this is uh, pretty much after we finish with it it's going to head off to the uh interior place they're going to redo it they're going to he's going to repaint it as well this car is going to look mint because pretty much you're starting with a frame frame up build i mean this thing was pretty much a rolling chassis no, nothing in there and pretty much built it all the way up but uh on the inside you have the dakota digital dash this is this is tits right here like this is like one of the the must-haves for especially if you're trying to do like a resto mod type g-body build or or even you just want to have a cruiser i mean the, the the digital dash setup like that but it's uh it's like it's still analog and digital at the same time dakota digital has some good stuff on there we just have a wide band pretty much plugged in just to tune it but uh if you want a wide band later it's easy to install uh you have that uh outlaw shifter i believe it's a bnm but other than that so everything in the interior don't really get so caught on how it looks because it all is gonna get rechanged i mean the dude is gonna he's gonna go ham on it but it's a glass roof t-top which is cool i guess it's rare for a monte carlo ss a true ss but yeah so quick overview so lq9 six liter uh based engine reworked heads fast 92 millimeter intake it retains the factory ac um it has a big cam in it i don't have the specs on top of my head i'm gonna throw it in the description um long tube headers uh full x pipe resonated borla mufflers now suspension wise you're having uh all the whole umi catalog on this thing uh tubular uppers lowers upgraded sway bars um 
quick performance nine inch rear has like a 456 gear in it it's some 456 gear with a 4000 stall i mean like this thing is is set up to really to dig and to launch not with those tires though but um it's a four link rear um everything else umi I, I mean this this thing rides it actually rides pretty decent um to say especially like a, it's it's all it's on coilovers but it, i mean it rides great it doesn't beat you up it's firm enough where you can still feel the road but it's not as wallowy as a g body should be from the factory so it uh it handles pretty well and uh this is just pretty much the retrofit here this is a uh they don't really make for f bodies they don't really make a cold air intake system for them most of them are just like a cheap universal one this one is actually like a true cold air so once you close this hood it's gonna seal between this and uh you're getting cold air through the front right here uh and it has the five pin math so you run uh iat and things like that through this so like the card style math And don't think the G-Body content gonna stop because we got another one we gotta actually uh, knock out. This is a, a black Monte Carlo. Yeah, it pretty much is starting off uh, better than the other one uh, in the paint department, obviously. But uh, this one had a truck motor in it. It was shipped to us uh, in Louisiana. Uh, it had a truck motor in it. I mean, it was just pretty much a spray painted junkyard motor. So we ripped that out. We're gonna have a, a fully fresh built motor go into this thing. We're gonna rework it, do cam, do heads, do everything that uh, the customer wants for a lady swap. Uh, do rear end as well and uh, knock this one out. This one is actually gonna look good because it, it actually already is painted, has nice wheels on it. I mean, this thing is, it's, it's, it's fucking clean. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, man, one of these cars like this, I'll cruise the shit out of it. That sound good.